Thanks, Mary. Well, a 10 year old Baltimore boy is being hailed as a hero for his quick thinking when his stepmom suffered an asthma attack and collapsed. Third grader Logan Wilkes jumped into action, rolling her on her side and called 911. Not only did he stay on the line with the operator, he had to hail down the ambulance and keep his three year old sister calm. And this handsome young man is here. He's right here. We were going to listen to your stepmom talk about what a hero you are, and I jumped right into you because you're so awesome. So tell me, tell us in your own words what happened. So I came home after school, and I walked in. The, no one was usually downstairs. Usually downstairs trying to get something to drink, and he wasn't. So I went upstairs, and... Miss Tanya was coughing, laying on the side of the bed, and I tried to roll her over. And I, she told me to call my mom on her phone and call the police on my phone. Wait, I called the police <laughs> on her phone and called my mom on my phone. So when you were on the phone with the operator, were you, were you scared at all? Yes. Yeah, because a lot was going on at the time. Yes. Right, and so what types of questions did they ask you? Um, where do you live? Can you help us stay right. with you on the line? And you did so well. And Chief Roman Clark from the Baltimore City Fire Department is here. Chief, what do you think about yes. this young man? I think it's truly amazing uh, as to what Logan did. Um, the fact that he was able to stay on the line with the operators. And also, he was actually manning two phones at one time. And then to know to you know leave his stepmother and get outside and hail the ambulance now to let them know exactly where you know they were was just truly amazing. Uh, to be 10 years old and to be able to do something of this nature is just uh, amazing to us all. What was that like hailing down that ambulance? Um, it was a little hard because I heard something snap in my arm, so I was a little worried for my arm too. Well, yeah, you're an athlete, so you had to protect your arm, protect your sister, protect your stepmom, get the ambulance in there. So when you think about what you did, what, how does it make you feel? It makes me feel pretty good. It should make you feel really good. And you, were, you had all kinds of questions in the classroom from your, from your classmates, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, they really wanted to know what you did. So he did exactly what it is that you want all children to be able to do. That is absolutely correct. Uh, you know, you, you call 911, you try to stay on the uh, line with the operators because the operators can help walk you through a problem. Uh, this is not just for children, but for adults as well. And for the most part, um, it is very helpful, you know, for the patient that you're dealing with at the time. And Logan, you said the operator asked you where you live, so there's some key information you needed to know, and, and you knew it all. Your parents have done a wonderful job with you. One of the things I remember your stepmom saying is that you guys had practiced what to do if something like this happened to her. Yes. How important was that for you when then you had to jump into action? It was pretty important. My mom's a nurse, so she makes me do it a lot. Your mom's a nurse, and so she makes you do it. That's fantastic. Logan, it is a pleasure to meet you. Stick around a little bit for us, okay? We want to have you here for Sunday brunch, okay? Okay. All right, you want to eat? Yeah. All right, sounds good. Chief Clark, always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Pleasure's mine. You Thank are you. truly an example. Thank you, Logan. Please don't